I pressed a button while I wasn't ready. But I'm ready, so it's fine. We don't want to wait a whole 10 minutes. We just want to uh, get online and talk shit and watch the videos and have some fun, I hope. And also, most importantly, a little bit of Haldex. But freedom doesn't come free. Ah! No! Sweet liberty! No! But yeah, I'm going to basically go straight in and start watching videos because I'm in a very lazy kind of mode. I almost wore pajamas because I thought that would be a great idea. But I thought, no, I'll just wear some lazy clothes instead. I put a face on. At least I did something for you. There we are. And that's hopefully will provide some entertainment too, but we'll deal with that as we go. So yeah, there I go. A load of random crap I want to watch. But I'm not going to subject you to all of it. But this was actually two weeks ago. And this Count, Drank Count Dankula, he's a beast. He his videos are amazing. Um, his Mad Lad videos, people are probably the most common ones people have seen. Uh, yeah, with it being two weeks ago and it being about government seeking to redefine, redefine, de uh, blah, 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 redefine extremism, it's probably already been redefined by now, I'm guessing. Because things, when they're trying to sneak these things through, they usually sneak through pretty quick. But we'll, we'll have a look, see what it's about. I didn't want to, I thought it might be a good one to watch on here, actually. But then I got stuck in work, work for two weeks and, you know, it's now. So hopefully this hasn't all happened and maybe someone else will know some more bits about what's happening with it. But I think it's well worth catching up with him. And he's, a, he's clearly an entertaining gentleman anyway. So let's see what the hell the government is trying to do now. Redefine extremism. I love it. And this guy, like uh, most people that I would ever watch online, to be honest, is very, very much big on his free speech. Because, let's be honest, that's all we can ask for. As you know, the rest of it we'll figure out between us as long as we can freely scream and shout at each other. Leave it in the right. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. I won't fire that back up again, actually. But you can see first bit, you, you know, you said they're trying to uh, change the definition. Definition seems like it's going to be covering some of the things that they actually um, themselves preach that they, you know, that they don't do what they say. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. From it's universities getting interesting already. Authorities to cut off links to groups identified as extremist. And I've got a feeling that it's specifically no, no. just going to be right wing ones. Just a feeling, you know. <laughs> uh, organizations such as the Muslim Council of Britain and protest groups such as Palestine Nobody Action. Can. Okay, all right, okay. I'll, 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 I'll eat my hat. That was, I was wrong. Are among those that could be affected by the non-statutory move to block groups from funding or accessing venues if they are regarded as promoting an ideology that undermines British values. The plan was reported by the Observer last year. However, you know, okay then, it wasn't right wing groups. British values. But it was tea. groups that really don't like Go another group. <laughs> Stop with all this political it's crap like, and give us tea. Mmm, weird that. British values. British, maybe not British values. Maybe the values of another nation. Uh, a minister said on Tuesday that he would not be happy if, for example, gender critical feminists were labelled as extremists by a change of government policy, which is the intention you know let's let's, let's be very <laughs> honest the trade minister greg hans told times radio that the prime minister had talked about taking on extremism and the government needed to work on definitions that's one thing that uh legislation really yeah. struggles with is the definition of things they love that like i've said very many times they love definitions being vague they love the laws being vague because that makes it easier for them to selectively prosecute uh, the government definitions and labels in general just especially legal Common law is a thing, like law, common law, common law, like universal law, the law that, you know, me, you and everyone else shares between us, where we kind of, you know, we don't fuck with each other, we let each other, what is it, the, you know, the official, the old school, the original terminology for all the, for all the sort of common law books is something along the lines of, you know, not trespassing or preventing anyone else's freedoms and otherwise be free yourself. It's really simple work, work and it makes sense to all beings of all kinds of any, you know, animals even get it, they don't just eat each other for the sake of it. I mean, some do. But the majority of them eat, you know, eat each other just because they, they're hungry or whatever else it happens to be. Otherwise, they might sip water at the same bloody waterhole and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, the common law is no longer a thing like all this shit. It's all, it's all, you know, the way people have now written it into 
they'll say law and everyone will think of something else. Oh, that's a law. That's law now. That's law now. No, it's a, it'll be like a statute or some sort of legally, technically using a certain specific kind of language and then it can be interpreted in a hundred different ways. There's no morality in this crap at all. It's it's quite mind-boggling to see it. And like, see, as soon as you then need to change it, you can take these laws that aren't even really laws and most of which, a lot of which, go against common law and common sense. I, yeah, let's watch some more before I explode. We'll go to... Sec the community secretary michael gove is doing that right now more work is being done but obviously we need to target real extremism and not just a difference of views honestly held views about these things he added no no there's going to be a uh, if you think a man's a man and you think uh, illegal immigration is bad no also How you must love you? israel must must <laughs> You must not have opinions <clears throat> or speak your uh, The right-wing Tory MP Miriam Cates and Lord Frost, the high-profile right-wing peer, are among the... I think I get it, see? If you, know, if you don't speak your mind and you're not allowed to talk, then fucking, uh, you know, are you going to meet, meet in the middle and find your differences? Let's just keep fighting each other. Oh. But as, soon as, yeah, as soon as you need to change your, your laws and your books, same as common law, got fucked over. Same as everybody in all does, you can just go, you know what, I need a new, uh, I've got a new agenda, I've got something else I fancy doing, so let's just change the books a little bit. The definitions need to change because then we can stop these groups speaking out and we can auto-ban people and, nah, not about it. Today, like, really, in a world where we can communicate this quickly across the globe, come on. Those who have expressed opposition amid concerns that the move, move could have an inadv inadvertent, imp inadvertent, no. Just to throw it out there as well, because obviously, <laughs> like you said, yes, yes, like you said, hitting deeper than was expected, especially video one straight out the gates. Um, but yeah, shit. Um, might be worth mentioning that I don't understand and never will understand or care about the whole left and right and the middle and the in-betweens and other things. I just have lots of things and ideals and whatever else that I believe in. Everyone needs to believe something and, you know. I'm doing okay. Everyone's doing okay. Most people generally are doing okay. Except the people who listen to other people and take it as, you know, truth. Like, pay attention. Yeah, anyway. I'll stop rambling. This could get bad otherwise. <laughs> no, it's on purpose. Impact on anti-abortion groups, advocates for socially conservative causes, and those opposed to transgender rights. They're not opposed to transgender rights, right? It's a case of, I feel that everyone, no matter what, should have the exact same human rights as everybody else. No more, no less. Which means... If you commit a crime against me and I commit a crime against you, we both should be facing the same sentence, right? One of us shouldn't be facing a much more extreme sentence because of who the other person was, right? That's privilege. Uh, any attempt, but any, it's uh, I'm not right. Do I think, I, I think that you shouldn't be able to just go up and assault and murder trans people, you know? I think that nice. everyone should have that right, <laughs> that you're not allowed to inflict violence upon them. But I also feel that you should be able to say to them, I disagree. I feel that you should be, but that's when they go, you're literally no, killing I'm... us. <laughs> Let me ch change in front of your five-year-old or you're literally killing us. Like, like those ones. Yeah. Basically, you're not free from criticism, right? No, you should be free from be aggression. Ever. You should absolutely should be free from aggression. You should be free from having your property seized from you and all that, those things, you know, absolutely. I feel that everyone should have those rights. However, when they're like trans rights, it's like, mm, it's not really, that's not what they're advocating for. They're advocating for trans privilege. I should be able to go around and do whatever I want and no one's allowed to criticize me in any way, shape or form. If Nothing winds me up more as a tr fucking super tranny myself. Like nothing winds me up more than people that are just like, I'm really upset that someone called me a he or like, like someone's going to just base the, the, the general, you know, the way People exist and work and socialize with each other. People are going to just call what they see or what you seem to be giving off. Like if I'm walking around in a dress, most people generally say, hey, miss, or whatever else. Once or twice, you might get someone who clearly, like, does it, you know, notices and says to be rude, goes, hey, dude, or no, not dude, dude's fine. Anything's fine anyway. I couldn't give less of a shit. But yeah, you have every right to be offended, but not the right to, dub not the right to never. Be offended, end of sentence. Uh, sorry, you have every right to be offended, but not the right to demand never to be offended. Yes, yes, Mr. Hefts, in words of wisdom. Yeah, I, it does. It, nothing winds me up. It, I won't go too heavy on that side of things. It'll, I'll drip, drip feed the way I 
see the world how i ended up in this crazy little body like myself you know over the time i won't i won't go into that too far but it, nothing winds me up worse see people miserable and upset because some random has an opinion or most of the time they don't even have an opinion they're just they see someone who's clearly you know possibly somewhere in between you, you don't know you just see a general shape that matches something or like barely paying attention to just say hey mate hey sir whatever like just whatever comes out first because it's never been a problem for the last 20 30 50 70 years of their lives and i got people getting hurt and upset and crying to themselves at home and crying online and be like why is you know and trying to change fucking laws and shit to say you know i don't know it makes no sense it makes no sense at all. it really doesn't like i will stop rambling now for a minute i'll be back they do they should go to jail that's not a right that's a privilege uh, any attempt to define extremism or fundamental british values is very risky because one person's extremism is another person's sincerely held and lawful belief kate's told the guardian yes for example i want to live in nature in the middle of the forest in a wood cabin with no council tax and grow vegetables and raise my children in the glory of nature by by the, especially the FBI's definition, I'm an extremist, right? I just want to be left alone. Oh, we got another extremist over here, fellas. I want to be able to express grievances to the state and make jokes without the police kicking down my door. He's had that shit happen. Apparently, that makes me an extremist. I don't want dangerous, undocumented criminals and terrorists coming into the country. Apparently, that makes me an extremist. Uh, an obvious example is where no. I regularly call trans rights activists. You know, you know this, that's not why they call you an extremist. They, they call you an extremist because you actually talk about it and you say words and people get offended and shit their pants because they're like, oh my God. It, it, ah, poor guy. But at the same time, legend. Keep pushing the free speech, telling people to keep saying shit. Do it extremists for believing a man can be a woman just because he says he is and that this that, and that this gives him the right to enter women only spaces but equally i am called an extremist for believing there are only two biological sexes and you can't change sex because that's another thing that the left tried to do they tried to say oh any opposition to us whatsoever is extremism and extremism is bad it's a long long tactic that they've been using since fucking well they've been using it since before gamergate but like recently they've basically they'll be able can i just say i don't know what gamergate is apparently this whole thing i'm seeing i'm shit i'm new to the internet basically but this whole thing i'm seeing with uh like kotaku and asman and all that thing apparently that's turning into gamergate too so i'm guessing it's something where something in the industry or in an, an industry changed lots of things fast uh, I will have to investigate that one. Maybe, yeah, hundred percent. A word that everyone in the community has a nasty association with: Nazi, racist, bigot, Appreciate extremist. It. And what they do is they take those answer. words that are unpalatable to the public. People don't like those things because they've been conditioned to, and then they start branding their enemies as those things. They try and stick the association onto these people when ninety percent of the time it doesn't fit at all. So basically, they take words that leave a bad taste in their mouth and try and apply it to their enemies. Classic Stalinist tactic. What was that old black and white video that they made about the actual history, uh, techniques that communists use? It's a black and white video of a guy talking about uh, a bulletin that was put out by the Communist Party. Brand your enemies as fascist. Brand them as racist. If you repeat this enough times, eventually the public will believe it. A technique that we're all very familiar Works. with. And all that. Basically, it's that. That's what they try to do. And that's what they're trying to do with the extremism thing. Basically, brand your enemies perfectly reasonable opinions as extremist and outlaw them. Congratulations, you've banned political opposition, which is very commonplace in our managed democracy. Uh, these are debates that we should be able to have lawfully in society. I absolutely agree. We should be able to call each other extremists, but it also means those views should not be banned, said the MP, one of the leaders for the New Conservatives grouping of Tory MPs. The New Conservatives, is this the, is this the Conservatives that are still trying to stay right wing? <laughs> uh, and a move that also raises the prospect of unusual alliances emerging between those who might disagree on other issues, but who are united by hostility to the proposals. Kate said she would be raising her concerns with the government and other MPs and the government is going to tell you to blow out your arse because it does not care. Uh, first, uh, Frost, <laughs> Boris Johnson's chief Brexit negotiator, said on X that he was very much in agreement with a tweet by Cates who used the platform to say that 
a broader definition of extremism was not needed. I think, I think the line should be a, a. It's like people have forgotten that, like, say, like you've just said, no one seriously studies history in the mainstream these days. It's like the people that actually have any control or power on the way that many and all this shit moves. Have that and no common sense, no ability to speak to other humans. They haven't found the internet yet and like looked at any of it because like, ah, oh, this literally hurts to watch because this is where I live, isn't it? This is ah, oh. like, I mean, the the one thing I will say about America that yeah, you know, as much as America is not exactly putting on the best display of um. I don't know, the world's on the world stage, the most sort of like easy to understand and, you know, respectable and so on. I won't go too deep into that either. But uh, the one thing I will give them is that at least like they have a constitution that every single person's like, yep, we've got this, deal with it. So at least they, you know, they've got something they can stand by and every single human, every single human there is like, yeah, we got this. Sorry, but, you know, free, freedom of speech. Yeah, like every like every every single government and every situation out there like it's, it's how i'm gonna stop i'm gonna watch the rest of this so I, not, you, otherwise we have to start an episode for every pause which i cannot be trying to be as on the pause goal what is it i uh, know it's not happening <laughs> violence i think that's that that's extremism to me see if someone see if someone's just sort of like a uh, i think we should deport Wait. illegal migrants I think that's a perfectly reasonable thing. If someone says, I think we should execute illegal migrants, wait, whoa, whoa, hold up. <laughs> and that's, that, that's extremism. That, that's extremism to me. I think the line for extremism is violence. To me, that's, that's yeah. what I feel it is. Uh, what we need is proper enforcement yeah. of the laws Sticks we have stones, against, you know? for example, incitement to violence. Uh, the words fit doesn't have to the worry about The proposals uh, <laughs> come after a speech outside Downing Street last Friday in which Sunak claimed extremist groups in the UK were trying to tear us apart. I cannot hear anything that says the word Sunak next to it. Does anyone else have this problem now? I don't really follow any, like... I don't follow any of this, like, stuff. Like, I don't follow the news or what's going on in the world or, like, you know, the decisions that these idiots are making and these people. But, the, like, that Sunak guy, I, 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 can't, I can't read a word, a word, the things that he did. I can't, I can't do it. Oh, I was copying Google. They're going to be finding me down here. This look. clip of the PM, Rishi Sunak, has gone viral. Why? Well, it's the weird way he's using a hammer. I, after seeing that, I can't, like, any words after it. It's like, no, some random, I wrote those words for him. It, like, yeah, so whatever that said, I'm just reading What are the extremist groups? <laughs> well, everyone that goes against the government narrative. Uh, in a statement that came hours after George Galloway won a by-election in Rochdale, the Prime Minister said, you cannot be a part of our civic life if your agenda is to tear us down. I, have, I don't really plan to cover George Galloway winning his election, but, but one thing I do want to laugh at, is uh, the letters that he sent out to people depending on what ethnic group they were from like the one that he That's sent to like mean. native brits was something like yeah he made these choices for immigrants us. and these illegal migrants the video i saw i just whenever i just clicked on google was a um you know obviously like it had, you know like someone had done some stuff and spoken over it and everything the one i saw was tiktok it's one of the reasons why tiktok's being like banned and chased down and things definitely because anything happens everyone in the world knows about it from tiktok straight away because some idiot will just go hey look and i saw that with it i saw it like straight off the news the guy like videoed you know got got the video pretty much minutes after it came out checked it up it was just literally a clip of him doing that and then it pops over to this guy's face and it's like and this is the guy in charge of our nukes and then it just stopped <laughs> And then about two hours later, I checked back in and that guy's um, video was down. I'm guessing someone told him to take it down quick. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, free speech. You're not allowed to do it. That's extremism. How dare he show that he couldn't use the hammer. Shit. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, we're getting, we're getting serious now. A bull pin hammer fiercely second side. <laughs> I love it. We've got hammer enthusiasts that are, that are taking it a step further. Oh, on. Yeah, but that's but that's actually quite fair, I'd say. Genuinely, I think if you're if you're in charge of a country, you're doing like, you know, making decisions for people. You should be able to 
do basic things those people can do. So I might be a bit far in his particular position, but I think if you had anything to do with construction or I don't, does he? He probably does. Yeah, if he signs off on the bills and constructions, he probably knows hammers, let alone how to use them. So yeah. <laughs> what a joke. Awesome. Uh, the lady, I'll, I'll definitely watch some of the, the ladies' videos. I'm so bad with names. I, it's never rude if I don't know someone's name or remember. Um, shoe on head. I remembered because there's a shoe on head. Um, I watched some of her videos at some point. Um, yeah, I don't know. So are tearing our country apart, but then to Muslim households, he sent out the letter, Salam alaikum, my brethren. You should vote for me. <laughs> I'd say, I mean, in true politician fashion, where you try and play to every single group, Right, because that's what democracy is. You're trying to satisfy every single group, and all that happens at the end of the day is no one has... Just to briefly interject, we will show you what democracy is in a minute, how it's supposed to be done, okay? Well, not in a minute, in a bit, in like 20 minutes, or a bit, after a video or two. Manage democracy with guns, lots of guns. As anything even resembling what they want. Probably still less guns than the real democracy around the world. That's not good. And everyone's miserable. Welcome to democracy. That's the way it works. Uh, the address uh, contained no detail of new policies, save for a pledge that the government would redouble support for the Prevent Counterterrorism Programme. Prevent is a, a counterterrorism group that school children who post Pepe memes get referred to, by the way. Really, that's what I... Oh, they, they posted a Pepe meme and they, they get referred to Prevent. And then... Is that because of the scandal with it um and it being like you know some i think probably had something to do with the monkeys the monkey nfts and they ended up they oh, i'll have to find that video at some point <laughs> that's gonna sound strange if no one knows what i'm talking about yeah the monkey nfts and they ended they used like 4chan lingo or some stuff and a little bunch of people hijacked this uh the little meme which loads of people in my work use it like it's just a lol meme i didn't realize it had a like other meaning until then i'm a little bit worried now Actually, no, I'm not worried, I lie. <laughs> and their name's on a... Because it is literally a meme. <laughs> it's just a frog, I think. Fucking list, essentially, forever, in case this person becomes an extremist. Yeah, that's because right. they posted a fucking pepe. Uh, demands that universities stop extremist Don't activity on campus and take action on extremists entering the UK. Uh, so you, you're going to ban and outlaw all the communist groups then? Have you ever actually spoken to them? They're very honest, by the way. Like... <clears throat> The hardcore tankies. Like, and I, I do it all the time because I, I try and get them to say, see if they'll say the quiet part out loud. Whenever I'm arguing with them on Twitter, I'll say something like, so, I'm a libertarian. I like freedom. I don't want a state. I believe that anything that I produce from materials that I procured myself and paid for or produced through my own labour, I feel that I have a complete right to them and I owe them to no one else. 100 million. Right, and I believe in freedom of speech and all the other usual lovely stuff. What would happen to me in a communist society? And most of them would just say, Gulag or we'll kill you. <laughs> yeah. So they're extremists. <laughs> That's just, they're like, we will kill you. Right, that to me is extremism. And a lot of communist groups have said that. They have yeah. said that they plan complete ideological domination. And if you do not bend the knee to their ideology, they will commit violent acts against you. Reminds me of a book I read. It really does remind me of a book I read where, you know, you either... You either spend your life convincing others to join you or you cut their heads off, wouldn't it? Something like that. That is extremism. However, fucking, they're allowed to walk around with hammering sickles on their fucking t-shirts and shit like that. They are extremist groups, so I guarantee you that if it does get past, those groups will be completely left alone because they're the useful idiots that are serving Not the totalitarian state that is trying to establish itself. <laughs> Uh, ministers are also considering proposals to ban MPs and councillors from engaging with groups such as the Palestine Solidarity Campaign, Extinction Rebellion, and Just Stop Oil. Like, yeah, the element Extinction Rebellion and Just Stop Oil are annoying and everyone hates them to the point where I genuinely believe that uh, they are a fucking psyop funded by BP and ExxonMobil and all the big oil companies to make people hate climate. I don't even follow this stuff, but didn't they find that one of like the main funders was actually like related back to them in some way or related back to one of the big oil companies or like some i don't know you know that lobbying rubbish is all like over there or they say over there all over the globe the activists genuinely that is what i believe uh, or the plate uh, the plans put forward there as for the palestine solidarity campaign i've 
I've done exactly what I've done in the Ukraine-Russia conflict. I've noped out. Do you care about Israel or Palestine? Where are those located? Or oh, the far end of the Mediterranean, so not Scotland? Then, then no, I don't care. I don't care about countries or places that I'm not from, that aren't my ethnic people. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I mean, it's terrible. It's fucking awful. But not my pig, not my farm. Uh, the plans put forward by the government's advisor on political violence, John Woodcock, say that mainstream political leaders should tell their representatives to employ a zero-tolerance approach to groups that use disruptive tactics or fail to stop hate on marches. A spokesperson for Palestine Action, a direct action group that has been among those which reports have suggested could be identified as extremists, said any change would not stop its activists and that it was continuing to draw support. There have been attempts before to define it to define extremism before, and it did not work. But when we are talking about British values as they are, I refuse to believe that it amounts to supporting genocide in Gaza, she told The Guardian. If anything, the recent announcements show that lobbying politicians and going on marches have failed to change the country's stance on Israel. Because, uh, again, at the, at the end of the day, uh, I mean, despite all of that, it hasn't changed. A lot of countries are like, no, no, like we, we, we support Israel. And nothing will make them shift on that. Let's just move on. <laughs> the group's main targets are the sites of an Israeli arms manufacturer, one of its co-founders who went on trial last year, with others for damaging Elbit Systems Limited UK sites, said they were justified because they were trying to stop people being bombed. Now, basically, what is going to happen is the same mm -hmm. thing that's been happening for about a decade now, is they're going to pass more laws to attack the right wing. Now, they're trying to... But also, you know... Two birds with one stone. Let's get rid of all the right wing groups, but let's also get rid of uh, all the Palestine, all the anti Israel groups, all the anti Zionist groups. So it's uh, two birds with one stone. And again. <laughs> oh, react harder. I was focused. I was focused because it's crazy. It's very rare to catch up on what our, the UK government's actually doing. That's blowing my mind. But no, I'm not going to act. I'm just going to react. Because I don't need to push any agendas and shit. I just think people got to say what they need to say. And this man's saying some things that need to be said. Making sure people know about it. Which is good. I, I would love, I would love to be accused of being an XQC, doing an XQC. Purely because I would like just the, just the, the views and whatnot alone. There'd be a bit of weird backlash. I'd just have that many people watching this day for that to be able to happen. and be a problem. That um, I'll undoubtedly find a community of lunatic nutters like me in that. Even if, you know, there's a bit of, bit of a bumpy ride first. It's a deal. Let's do it. <laughs> let's go. In fact, I'll, I'll try and do the old Twitch meta now. Let's just jam some TV on and fucking sit back, relax, take it easy. I'll watch it with you guys. I won't even rap. We'll just chill in. I'm going to let the man, the man finish out for a moment. I do apologize. <laughs> MasterChef. Honestly, I watched Master... Was it MasterChef? No. Kitchen Nightmares the other day. One of the, like... Uh, four hour binge ones on YouTube. It was the best experience ever. As somebody who used to like run kitchens, hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fun. Yeah, it took two minutes. Again, this is just and, and the way that uh, managed well, democracy that works. Done, maybe. People end up, basically, the, the thing that was created Probably. to prevent totalitarianism will eventually become that because all you have to do is trick people into voting themselves into it. Yep. Manufacture crises, make or things a lot worse in. for people, make things that bad, and then propose a very desperate measure that the people will vote for because things got that bad. But don't worry, it won't be totalitarianism because we live in a democracy. Things like that would never happen. 100%. That shit's never going to ever happen. Um, go do the subscribe -y thing on Mr. Count Ankula on all of his accounts. This is his second account. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely watch some of his... Um, mad lads like they're just you know it's like a full history episode about some of the best and maddest and craziest people in history good bad ugly all of it it's just real raw shit it's amazing uh no we're not doing master chef next though 